Now in this video, we are going to dig into keyword research. So at this point you should have um, a handful of product ideas to go after. And now we actually need to go do some niche research to figure out which ones are viable ideas. For niche research, or for keyword research, I always use a tool called Market Samurai. In my opinion, I've used a ton of them out there. This is always the best one because of all the different features they have. They do offer a free trial. Um, so even if you don't want to go ahead and buy it, because I believe, let me click on the full version here. Uh, it looks like it is 150 bucks. So, you know, it does cost some money. In, in my mind, it's just a, a necessary tool to have for any online marketer. But that being said, I know if you don't want to pay the $150, they do have a free trial version. So you can go ahead and down, download the free trial version. It won't cost you a penny. And then you can at least do your keyword research and have that done. And then if you want to you know, buy the full version, that's up to you. So I'm just going to open up Market Samurai here. And I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to do sleeping bag. And then I will simply create that project. And from here, if I slide this over, you can see you have a bunch of different options. We're going to go ahead and do keyword research. And from here, we are simply going to go ahead um, for phrase length. Um, I like to have you know, just a one keyword phrase usually isn't going to be a viable option. So I'll at least put it to two. You could probably even do three, um, but we'll leave it at that. I'm going to leave the max at 10. Um, so no keyword longer than 10 words. You know, it's not really going to find those anyways. And I'm going to go ahead and generate keywords. And this will take a, a couple moments here. So I'll just pause the video while that works through. All right. So Market Samurai has brought back 780 different keywords. Um, one thing I will point out here is the keyword source is the Google Keyword Tool. Um, so you don't need to go ahead and use that because this will actually incorporate it right in. Um, to get a lot of the um, features, you will need an AdWords account. So whatever your, you know, just if you don't have a Google AdWords account, you just get a Gmail address and then go ahead and sign up for AdWords. You don't actually have to spend any money. Um, AdWords just needs to be active on that email address. Um, so you will want to go ahead and do that because that will bring back uh, more data. So you can see I have a whole bunch of terms here. So now what we're going to do is go to Keyword Analysis. And this is going to give us, of course, our traffic. Um, this is phrase to broad, um, not something I'm you know, really interested at at the moment. Um, let me slide this over. So what I want is I want total searches. Um, you can leave SEO traffic. That will estimate how much traffic you would get if you were ranked number one. I don't really want phrased abroad. Trends can be nice because you can see if trends on this peaks during different times of the year. I personally is not, not real interested. We're not going to be buying any AdWords, so I'm going to leave all those blank. But we do want the title competition because this will show which people are actually using that keyword in their title tag, which gives you a little better representation of the of how much competition it will be. Um, and you can do the title to competition. It'll, um, it's just a ratio of those two. So again, if you get a low score there, it'll give you a good idea that there's weak competition. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't really need any commercial intent, anything like that. So those are what I do. I do total searches, SEO traffic. Then we want SEO competition, title competition, and the title divided by competition. Um, one other thing, I like to do monthly, so I have a good idea of how much traffic that keyword will get per month. And then we also don't want broad because broad will bring you back inflated results. So you want to do phrase or exact. I'll usually do exact because that's going to give me the lowest possible um, number. So I don't want to overestimate on how many, how much traffic I could be getting. Um, so I put that at exact. Um, phrase is also a good idea because if you when we do our our link building, I don't want to jump too far ahead. But we're going to be varying the terms we use, so phrase is a good indication too. But I'm going to leave it at exact, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit analyze keywords, and I'll pause that again because it's going to take a little time. 
Okay, so it's done bringing that information back. So now we can see we have the SEO competition, and that's just the total number of web pages globally that mention that keyword term. And that's they mention that keyword term anywhere on their page. So that's you know, it's a good number to have because it can show you stuff that no one's even talking about, like the 1.5 TOG baby sleeping bag. You know, barely anybody is talking about that, um, and it doesn't get much traffic, so that's probably why. Um, so what we want to do from here is let's sort this by searches. So if I just click on searches, and you're going to see because you know it brought back so many terms, we're going to ha have a lot of unrelated, um, unrelated terms in here like camping equipment, camping gear. But now we just want to start looking at possible keywords that could make um, make for a good market to go after. So um, baby sleeping bags, that's kind of niched down. Um, I never really thought of that myself. And then we can go ahead and check the title tag competition. And this is going to be a better indication of how much competition this is. So this is how many web pages out there are using the term baby sleeping bags in their title tag. Now, with SEO, putting the keyword in your title tag is a very important factor. So that shows what how many web pages out there are, are really going after that term. So for this, it's 163,000 which is a fairly large amount. Um, and then we have baby sleeping, or I'm sorry, then we have kids sleeping bags. Let's check that one. And for kids sleeping bags, so you know, look at, you can tell right there, that's a good indication. For kids sleeping bags, there's 11 million different websites with that in their title tag compared to baby sleeping bags, which only has 163,000. So, um, you know, this one has a hundred times the amount of competition if my math is correct I think it is yeah so there's a hundred times more competition for kids sleeping bags but look at the traffic they're the same they're both 8100 searches um, per month and that's on exact so that you know baby sleeping bags right now looks like a great term to possibly go after we have um, baby sleeping bag so that has no plural on it so let me check that one and that one's got a little more competition and less traffic. So again, uh, baby sleeping bags is still looking like a pretty good one. Uh, let's keep looking. We have a double sleeping bag. Um, very low amount of competition. And only 40,000 um, websites are using that. So another very good one. Um, let's keep looking here. sleeping bag reviews let's check that one out only 23,000 websites are using that in their title tag now that's the exact kind of term I'm looking for because if I'm gonna go out and make a website reviewing sleeping bags the main term I'm probably gonna go after is sleeping bag reviews now if someone is going online and typing in sleeping bag reviews they're far into the buying process. They're not just looking for information. <clears throat> they're not just browsing. They're looking for reviews. They want to know which one they should buy. So that right there is a perfect term um, to go after. We have down sleeping bags, kids sleeping bag. Let's check that one out. 44,000. Um, toddler sleeping bag. Only 10,000. Uh, best sleeping bag. So people wondering, you know, what's the best sleeping bag? Let me check that one. And that's only got 10,000, um, which is very low. Uh, we have cheap sleeping bags. We can check that one. Only 7,000. So I can tell already just by looking at these that there is a lot of low competition terms that are still getting fairly good traffic. Um, you know, a thousand searches a month on exact search it's pretty good it's not going to be a, you know a killer market that's going to make you a ton of money but it's the perfect place to get started because it has such low competition um, so let's browse a little farther what else do we got here um, best sleeping bags again that's another good one only 29,000 going after that uh, and then we start getting some product names like the big Agnes sleeping bag I'm um, not sure what that is, um, but probably a product. So that's going to be a product we would think about reviewing. Um, here's another double sleeping bag. 
again, pretty low. Star Wars sleeping bag, who doesn't want one of those? Uh, here's another Van Gogh sleeping bag, so another product brand, very low competition. Um, so I'm seeing a couple of things here. One, I'm seeing that this is a very good market. Um, number two, I'm already seeing that the main terms I might go after, like sleeping bag reviews and best sleeping bags, have a decent amount of traffic <clears throat> and very low competition. So that's another bonus. And I'm also seeing some secondary um, markets. Like here again is two-person sleeping bag. And that's actually got a ton of competition. So that's actually so that's an, a great example of a market that you want to avoid. It's only got 880 searches and 11 million different websites um, mentioning that. Uh, we got backpack sleeping bags. Let's take a look at that. 8,000, very small again, the plural. 39,000. Here's a dog sleeping bag. Um, we have a dog and there's no way I could get him to um, ever sleep in a sleeping bag. Hello Kitty sleeping bag. My daughter would love that. Um, zero degree sleeping bag. Now I saw a lot of those on Amazon and that's got some pretty decent competition. You know here's more baby sleeping bags. Baby sleep bag. And actually I have kids. I don't think that's actually a sleeping bag. Um, it's a little fleece thing. You put them in when they go to sleep. Um, we use those. We call it a sleep sack if anybody's interested. <laughs> um, but I think you get the point here. Um, that's kind of how we do our market research. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top. And right now I can already see this is a great market. Um, some things I'll point out. Searches, you want to have at least a couple thousand. Um, you know, a thousand exact searches is decent. Um, you're going to be able to get some traffic off of that. Not a ton, um, as opposed to a market that had, you know, 50,000 searches a month. Um, but for just an example, we check that competition. And you can see 3 million. So the competition is very high. So for me personally, for this example, I am very happy that I see, let me, where was it here? Best sleeping bag, only 10,000 um, people using that in their title tag. And then there was a review somewhere here. If I can find it. Sleeping bag reviews, 23,000. So those are probably two great terms that I'll target with my homepage. Um, sleeping bag reviews and best sleeping bag. You wanna look for an SEO um, title tag competition. I would say under 100,000 and if you can get down below 50,000 and even these 20,000, that's a very realistic term to go after and get traffic for. Again, pretty good traffic. One last step you can take is you can see actually how hard it'll be to rank for that term. If I click on the key, it's gonna open up a new tab. Let me scroll this down. You see it opened up a new tab here. So now it's gonna isolate that word. And now I can check out the SEO competition for that keyword. I will generate the results. I'll pause it, this will take a minute. And this will show you who is ranking um, currently for that keyword. Let me stretch this out so we can. So number one is sleeping bag reviews. So obviously somebody with the same idea that I have. Um, but then what we can do is we can look at how well they're optimized. So their page rank is zero. That's a good sign. They have 140 pages indexed. That's, that's pretty good. Um, we have the backlinks to the page. So how many backlinks they have? They have 554, which is, you know, a fairly good amount. And they have 800 backlinks to their domain. Um, they're not in DMOS. They're not in Yahoo, but they are using sleeping bag reviews in their title tag, their URL, their description, and their heads. They're, they're pretty well optimized. If you see a lot of green on this page, that'll tell you that it's a term you can rank for more easily. If you see a lot of red, that's not quite as good. That's going to show you that there's a lot of competition. Um, but for me personally, when I see the top site is a page rank zero and the second one is a page rank two, you know, that's not that's not too 
too tough to go out and tackle. And this, the third one is a page rank five, but they're not even using sleeping bag reviews in their title, in their URL, in their description of their head. Uh, so they're not, I wouldn't say that they're actively targeting that keyword. So to me, sleeping bag reviews still looks like a good keyword um, because I'm pretty confident I can get that onto the first page. And my other one was best sleeping bag. Let me bring that one up. Again, I just hit the little key. That opens up a new tab. I'll do some SEO competition. I will generate those results. And now we can say, um, looks like number one is REI, which is a big, you know, outdoor supplier. But again, when I look over here, they're not using sleeping or best sleeping bag in their title, in their URL or their description. So I wouldn't say they're actively going after that keyword. Not really, you know, maybe one of these and that's overstock. Um, and this one is the best sleeping bag. So they are actively going after it. They, you know, put that in their title. They put it in their URL. Um, so they're actively going after it. You know, they got 377 backlinks, which is a pretty good amount. Um, but again, a lot of the the main people on the front page aren't actively going after best sleeping bag review. They're just showing up because, um, you know, they have a ton of links to their overall website. Our, REI has 4 million um, backlinks to their site, not to that page, just their site. So they're just ranking strictly on that. They're not necessarily optimizing it for that. So that pretty much covers keyword research. Um, again, you want to start looking for some low competition keywords. You know, if you, let's say my initial idea was kids sleeping bags. Let me bring this back over here. So let's say my initial idea was kids sleeping bags. And I go ahead and bring that up and there's 11 million websites using that in their title tag. Right there, I'll just cross that one off the list. Too much competition. Um, let's say my initial idea was um, Coleman sleeping bags. Let's say I was just going to review Coleman sleeping bags. Um, actually, not a lot of competition on that either. Um, but again, with Coleman sleeping bags, you're going to have a problem ranking for that because Coleman is obviously going to be number one. So again, look for, look for keywords that have a fair amount of searches. I would say between, um, you know, a couple thousand is a good place to start. The more you can get, the better. Um, you want to have a low SEO title tag competition because that's people actively going after those keywords. Um, and again, for my example, both of those have low. You know, we have sleeping bag reviews, 23,000, and we have the best sleeping bags, which was 10,000. So that right there meets the criteria. I did a little more in-depth research um, by looking at the actual SEO. You know, it looks fairly doable. Um, so for me, I have a good market to go after. I'm going to go after um, best sleeping bags and sleeping bag reviews. Um, and a secondary thing I might take note of was the um, the double sleeping bag. Maybe I could do a site on just reviewing the top double sleeping bags. Um, not a lot of, you know, overall not a lot of competition there. So go through your keywords. If the first one is a dud, for example, like I said, my first idea was kids sleeping bags, 11 million competing websites, you know, scratch it off, move on to the next one. And again, if you if you had five to 10 ideas, it's going to take some time, you know, I realize that, but try going through them all and finding the best one with the most traffic and the least competition, because it's going to make it easier for you all the way. Um, and that is a pretty, um, a pretty good overview of keyword research. This is the type of stuff you should be doing for any website you go out to make, um, you know, checking the the searches, seeing what the competition is, and then seeing if they're actively going after that keyword and if you can rank for it. So you got a little bit of work ahead of you. Go ahead and go through your keywords um, and try to find that winner and then we'll move on with building the site.